Hi guys, it's Denise. It is Wednesday, February 1st, and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. I went to the Dollar Tree in Westminster, Maryland yesterday on my way to work, and I found some pretty awesome things. Um, I don't know if I found anything that I was actually searching for, but um, I found some I found some pretty great things. Uh, this weekend, uh, this Saturday, I was supposed to be going over to a friend's house just for like a, a girl's uh, girlfriend's uh, get together, but we are going to my in-laws instead. So I had found a couple things for my my girlfriend um, to bring over to her, and this is one of them. her and her husband are huge uh, Baltimore Ravens fans, and I found this this NFL brand condiment set, and I may I may go back. I don't know. We're not huge fans, uh, um, football fans in general. But I, know, I thought this was pretty awesome, pretty awesome just to have like, we've got one of those, um, God, what's it called? One of those grills, like a um, hibachi type of thing. It'll come to me in a few and you can put your oil and your water in one of these or just put your ketchup and uh, mustard in for a cookout. So these are just Baltimore Raven, if you can see that. Uh, condiment containers so this is pretty pretty awesome and like I said it is an NFL product so um, I, don't, I don't know I think that's kind of cool grab it and put it away for Christmas for someone and they were they were stocked with them I've seen quite a few uh, Ravens items there but this is actually the first one that I've I've purchased so if you're a Ravens fan go check them out or you know someone who is a Ravens fan go check them out and set them aside for a holiday birthday uh, even if you go to a cookout this summer what a great little basket little gift basket little uh, you know like grill towels tea towels something in there and a couple other things and this I don't know I think it would be put some beer a couple of bottles of beer or something like that in a, in a basket very very nice gift so I grabbed up that um, their freezer section is better but it's still, it's nothing like the one I went to in New Oxford, Pennsylvania. That one, the best I've ever seen. And um, Gettysburg, I'd like to get to Gettysburg by Friday. I wasn't able to um, go today. I had a couple things I had to I had to do today and I've been cleaning out my, um, my kitchen. So um, yesterday when I was strolling through the store, I passed through the freezer section and I found that they had their their snaps um, little appetizers back so this is the mozzarella sticks and this is the uh, loaded baked potato I actually put these in the boys lunch today and in my husband husband's lunch um, and I know Walmart sell the sells these and I think they're still maybe still maybe a dollar at Walmart I don't know but um, it's nice to find them when you're you know if you don't feel like going someplace else it's nice to um, just grab them up at the Dollar Tree so the jalapeno poppers are really good too Mozzarella sticks, I don't care where they come from. Mozzarella sticks are my absolute favorite. Absolute favorite, like I don't care. I don't care where they come from, I will get them. I will get them and I'm picky too. Like I'm one of those people, if you go into Walmart and you're at the um, their deli counter asking for things, I mean, I'll be like, how fresh are these? Like I'm, I'm gonna ask because there's nothing worse than, than uh, biting into a mozzarella stick that has no cheese left in it. It's actually very, very irritating. So I try to monitor them when they're in the air fryer this morning. These kind of overcooked a teeny, teeny, tiny bit, but um, they're nice and crispy. So grab those up. Those are always great, great to have. Great little snacks. Um, let me see. So I picked up, I love finding the protein shakes at the Dollar Tree. They're either stocked with them or it's slim pickings because this was the only one that I found. I should have grabbed more of those muscle milk because when I went back, I mean, they, they were completely gone and that's almost double the size of this. So this is Boost Protein Muscle Health and this is very vanilla. And I'll mix this with um, sugar-free uh, powdered instant pudding. And I, I've been using the pistachio and it is so, so good. It turns into like just turns into a pudding and it's a protein pudding and it is super super yummy yummy so if you see these in your store um, I haven't come across any sugar-free uh, jello pudding instant pudding in the Dollar Tree I would love to come across that um, because jello like the name brand I mean I think food line it was maybe a dollar fifty eight maybe maybe a dollar seventy something like that um, but you get a nice uh, high protein uh, dessert 
when you mix this and that instant pudding and the pistachio is so, so yummy. Let me see, let me see if I have any more food in this one. If not, let me grab this. So, you know, I love watching TikTok. I just do. It's a guilty pleasure. I love watching YouTube. I love, I love all this stuff. And there was a lady on there who was talking about this particular prune juice. And she was saying, you know, don't, if you don't need to use Ozempic, you don't need to do this, you don't need to do that. All you need to do is drink this for 30 days and you'll lose a ton of weight. And I was like, hmm. Okay. So, I, I mean, I'm sure, you know, prunes are uh, like kind of like a, a laxative, let's say. It helps you go. Um, and people were like, oh my God, that is so much sugar. That is this, that is that. Is that. And I was like, really? It's not... I mean, I've been drinking a little bit of it. I've been drinking a little bit of it daily, and I haven't seen anything. I haven't seen anything happen. I'm trying to see where it is. Okay, it was saying someone was reading the um, the ingredients, but really, it's just like it says. Okay, ingredients: prune juice, water extra extract, a water extract of dried prunes. So that's it. That is it, and this is this is a product of California, I think. Enjoy California Gold Function Prune Juice. It's the sweet and convenient way to support digestive health. So I bought a ton of these. I know we used to give this to put in the boys' drinks when they were babies, just to make you know things come out a little bit smoother. It tastes really, really good, and um, I don't know. Give it a give it a try. Why not? You know, if it does help. Your digestive tract, why not? I haven't had any stomach pains, I haven't had any problems, and I have had, um, I consumed one entire thing, and it probably took me two days to consume it. So I have had no ill, no Ill side effects from this, okay? Um, but I don't know, give it a try. I don't think it was like a, a viral diet or anything, and I'm not even claiming it to be a diet, but I think it's a cleanse. I think it is part of, of a cleanse for like uh, gut health. So, I don't know, give it a try, why not? So this is the California Gold Function 100% Prune Juice, a water extract of dried prunes. So that's it, that's all that's in it. So, um, and both of my boys actually like the taste of it. My, my older son was like, um, is that prune juice? I said, yeah, he goes, can I have some? I said, sure, sure, so it tastes really good. And again, you can mix it with other things and um, I don't know, give it a try. See if it helps you. If you have tummy troubles, if you have, if you're constipated or anything like that, you know, give it a try. See if it, see if it helps you. Lord knows I'm trying it. I have tried it. Like I said, it's not really, it hasn't really affected me in a negative way and I hope it doesn't. So give it a go. Um, my Dollar Tree, I did a short on this yesterday. They finally got these belts. I've been seeing everybody haul, and I picked up two. I had a couple of them, but I was like, I'm not gonna wear those. This I actually grabbed for Wyatt, my seven-year-old. He kind of likes fashion, and he tries to be funky today. Oh my God, he was wearing a, a big medallion to school, and I was like, don't run with that. That thing that thing will fly up and, and knock your front tooth off. So I said, if you're gonna run on the playground, something, tuck it in, or, or you may have to put it, he may have to put it in his locker. I mean, it's that big. <laughs> it is that big, but he was excited, he wanted to wear it, and I, I'm all for it. So this is just like, a, it's a black belt, it's got these silver little squares on it, and these little star, um, almost looks like studs, but it's not. So this is a size small. It may fit him, it may not, no big deal. And, um, and this is a No Boundaries brand, which is a um, Walmart brand. And it sold, originally sold for eight bucks. Belts aren't cheap. And they rarely like go on clearance. So this is a super steal to get this belt for $1.25. I saw a couple double belts, but I have quite, I have a collection of belts. And I really, really didn't need any more. So, um, and this to me, it looks like, I mean, anybody can wear it, but it's kind of a masculine looking belt. And um, I don't know, I'll, I'll let the boys wear it. If they wanna try it, they may try it. And then I got myself this, it's really nice. This one is Faded Glory, and it's just a white leather belt. And it may, this is a 2X, I didn't really see that, but um, maybe I could poke some extra holes in it or something, I don't know. And this one sold 
for $10. So if you see these belts, grab them up. And these are great even for, for donations. You know, if you want to donate to your church or um, you know, anywhere that does like a clothes drop off. I know a lot of churches have carrying closets and things like that. So people are in need can come there and, and get some things that they need. So this would be a great, these belts would be a great donation to a carrying closet. So I grabbed up those. I was super excited about that. And then I saw that they had their children's um, basically Tylenol back in stock. And I, I do use this sometimes. I normally give them chewable. Um, and I sometimes see on Facebook, like, where can I find Tylenol, children's Tylenol? Where can I find children's Motrin? Because when all the kids, almost all the kids were sick this past winter, it, people were desperate. And before that, I had I had stocked up a little bit just because I wanted. There's nothing worse than having a real a sick child with a high fever, and um, then you have to go. You know, you're searching everywhere for medicine for them. So I tried to plan ahead and stock up on it. And so I stocked up. Just I think I grabbed about three of these. This says compared to the active ingredient in children's Tylenol. Uh, this is oral suspension, children's pain relief, acetaminophen. 160 milligrams per five mil oral suspension. So, I mean, it's for ages two to 11, so I would still give this to Wyatt. Jesse will be 11 uh, this summer, and this doesn't expire until November, I'm sorry, yeah, November of 24. So I grabbed three of those, and they were, they were stocked. They were stocked with these. So um, grab them up, put them in your, your cabinet, put them away, just, just, so, you, just so you have it. I know my mom would have extra at her house just in case if she was watching the kids or something and we needed to, you know, we didn't have anything with us and she was able to, to help us out with that. So that was that was a pretty awesome find. Um, my makeup find is, and I bought two other liquid makeups. This is Highlighter Loose Power Powder and this is by Cody Air Spun Loose Face Highlighter. So I grabbed up this. I'm going to open this up. I'm not going to open the powder up, but I don't know if I bought two of the same color. It doesn't really say. Uh, okay. It just says loose face highlighter. It doesn't have like, okay, glow. Glow for gold, 300. That's what this one's called. Oh, so that'll be a nice, that'll be a really nice summer summer color even now I'm I'm glad it's February I disliked January very much we didn't really have we had no snow um, and it's almost looking like I don't know sometimes March March acts crazy um, here in Maryland but um, I don't know January just was it was dark it was dreary it was blah it was it was just weird so by January I'm glad you're gone um, so this, I don't know, putting, putting a tan on yourself. I was even talking to my sister, my niece does spray tans and I'm like, I think I need, I think I need a spray tan just to make myself feel a little bit, a little bit better. I don't know, how about you guys? Do you get the, the winter blues? Gosh, I do. I sure do. And I do not like it. I don't like it at all. All right. Let me see if this one, let me see if this one is any different. Oh. Oh, this one is, this is a different color. Pink Me Up 200. Okay, this is number 200, Pink Me Up. Oh, I'm so glad I, I did that. I'm glad I didn't buy two, um, two of the same. So this one is a pink base and the other one is gold. And it just says, um, apply to enhance the cheeks, loose face highlighter. And this is by Cody and it is Air Spun. So I'm excited about that. I've never seen a Cody product in the Dollar Tree. So that's, that's pretty awesome. Let's see. Got stuff, stuff all over this floor. Uh, let me see what I have here. Nope, that's not what I want. That's not what I want. Here we go. I found the, um, I don't even know how to say that. Lay, Mercier, Mercier, I don't know if that is right or not. I have no idea. And this is foundation. I saw again my friend Marina. She always finds the good stuff, and I feel like I've been finding the good stuff too. 
Um, this is long wear foundation and she was actually showing it on her hand. Okay, so long wear foundation, um, light, medium skin, 102. So this one is light to medium skin, 102. And this is foundation. I am going to try it. I will try it with that powder also. So that's awesome. So I don't know, is this, this is not a, I don't think it says, okay, it says, um, it was made in China. Caution, uh, da, 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 da. Brooklyn, New York. I don't know, design group, K design group. So I don't know. I don't think it's a Dollar Tree product, um, but I'm, I'm looking forward to giving that a try. So I think I grabbed two of those. I'm not sure if I grabbed the same. This one, that one was 102 and this was 103. So one is a little darker than the other and I will give them a try. I'm not gonna open them up right now. I also found another one of the Band-Aids and these say love on them. And I thought these were pretty cute. These would even make a cute little Valentine's Day gift for someone if you're doing a little basket or something for somebody. So uh, this is just like a little keychain um, Band-Aid container and it is clear and it, we're going to Disney in November. So um, hang these on my backpack. I'll put them on the girls' backpacks. I'll give one to my daughter-in-law. You know, when we were in Disney in 2018, I remember that we'd spent, spent the night at some hotel and uh, Jesse was running and he had shorts on. He was super excited and he fell. He skinned those knees up. I'm like, vacation hasn't even fully started and we already have an injury. So it's good to have a little, a little something for emergencies. I also found, they've been killing it with the nails um, at the Dollar Tree. I found another pair um, of Kiss nails, but they were too long for me. And I thought if I buy them, they're just gonna go to waste. So I found the, the Kiss Fashion Glitter Nails and it says ready to wear. And I really like this color. It's like a purple. There's a shimmery and um, just like a, a kind of a, not super, super dark. It looks really dark in this, but it's it's not. Um, and these are pretty, I mean, they're not expensive, but they're certainly not $1.25 if you get them at CVS or drugstore or Walmart or something like that. So they've really been, um, the Dollar Tree's really been putting out a lot of awesome nails. So I grabbed up those and I grabbed, I've seen this a while ago, seen some of the ladies uh, haul this and I have, this is my very first time fighting this in my Dollar Tree. This is um, OMV uh, by Vagisil and this is a feminine spray. It is a dry wash on the go freshness without water and no white residue. I mean, I think it says uh, vanilla clementine. I think this would be good if like, I don't know, you're working out or something like that. Again, put this in your gym bag or um, I don't know, camping, something like that maybe. So I grabbed this. I love this packaging on here too. So I thought that was pretty cool. And I haven't priced this, but this is a, um, it's a name brand product. So I'm sure, I'm sure it never sold for $1.25. I also picked up for myself, I love my lanyards. I picked up a juncture. Um, super cute. I don't know. I thought it was a cute Valentine's Day lanyard. If you can see that on there. That's got like a little coffee and lipstick, um, sunglasses, uh, a bow, eyelashes. So that's really cute. That would make a cute gift for someone, a teacher, a bus driver. I should go back and get some of these for the teachers for Valentine's Day. Both boys are having a Valentine's Day celebration in their class. I'm not sure if Jesse will participate. I know why it is going to, you know, once you hit fifth grade, you become a little bit I don't know you do as many you don't do as many things you don't participate as many things like that so I grabbed this one up for myself I thought it was really cute um, another thing I bought uh, for my for my friend um, we were because I was going over to her house on Saturday I found these super super cute socks these little squirrel socks I'm pretty sure these are men's socks but she loves squirrels she had a pet squirrel um, I don't know I just what I saw them I really thought of her and it just says this is K Bell um, that is the name of the brand and it is a men's crew sock super cute they had turkeys they had um, my gosh I think it was that like like the red truck with pumpkins in it so many cute fall I should have grabbed up the turkeys and given those to um, like my husband and my son but they don't care as much as I do and I'm like why am I spending my money on that if they don't really care about it so um, this had a purpose so when I was looking at this I had a purpose for it so um, I grabbed that up for her, so cute. So be on the lookout for those. 
I was able to find for Wyatt's Valentine's Day party, the Scratch and Reveal Val Valentine Craft Kit. So I grabbed up this. You just get a little, do a little thing. You can use your finger, you can do whatever you want and um, scratch that off and the colors will appear. And I grabbed two of these. I grabbed, I saw this, which I thought this was pretty awesome. I don't really, um, either people buy them up from the Dollar Tree or I don't see this that often and um, I bought this for home I don't think they use markers in school I know they use dry erase and these are washable um, but I don't know this was just six of them and I thought that was pretty awesome this is crazy art um, markers so uh, it just says super bright colors and there are six in there and then I picked this up for Wyatt, it is the uh, body wash pen. It is the Crayola Colorful Bath Fun Body Wash Pen. And I'll grab him some more for Valentine's Day because he loves making a mess and especially making a mess in the bathtub. So I will give that to him. I picked up, thought this was cute, this Disney 3D, it's 3D sticker story. One, and this is one set. So you kind of just put your stickers in their places and you put on your 3D glasses and um, they all look 3D to them, to you. So I grabbed up this, I thought that was kind of cool. I had a couple of other things and I was like, no, I don't think, I don't think I need those. But I know why it will really like that. I did grab one for Jesse because he could, he could care less like that. And then I picked up, I bought last time, oh, a while back, the Hemp Heaven uh, Body Wash, and now I found the Hemp Seed Oil Body Lotion, and this is the coconut, and I'm actually gonna put some on my legs, like, soon, because I am super dry right now. The weather, what, like, right now, it's pretty cold outside. Yesterday was really cold. Um, by next week, we're gonna be almost 60 degrees. So, it's weird. It's weird here in Maryland. So, this is nice. It smells good, and, um, I don't know, made in the USA. It says, Hemp Heaven Moisturizing Lotion is ideal for daily body and skin care. This formula has been uniquely designed to provide the benefit of coconut oil and hemp oil for maximum skin renewal and hydration. I'll give it a try. And I bought more. My husband was asking me about this. Um, and he was like, where did you get that? I said, the Dollar Tree. So he said, go back and and get a couple more because it's I mean it smells really good and it actually works really well what I use this on my um, in my bathroom upstairs and when I wiped it off my faucets they were super shiny so um, give it a try and it smells really 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 nice this is the real simple all-purpose cleaner I am looking for the other um, there's another one out there Pamela from Pamela's world uh, has spotted that one and I have not yet so I hope maybe Gettysburg will have it um, this one is the cherry blossom and rose scent, which smells so wonderful. So I grabbed up that, stick that, oh, stick that there, and then they had more of more of these, so I grabbed this up for my laundry. These actually smell really, really good. This one was the multi, like the multi colors. It smells so nice. Um, so that's a huge savings because if you try and get these in the store. It's not a dollar twenty-five, and this is a massive size. This is seventeen point five ounces, um, and it works great. It works really, really well. So hopefully you find these in your store because for a while there nobody had them. They did not have them. So guys, that's it. That's it. That is it for my haul. I hope to get to the Dollar Tree uh, by Friday. I watch my little baby, watch my little grandson tomorrow. Um, so I usually I dedicate my whole day to him, and. Um, we have a good time so I'm looking forward to seeing him and guys you know I I have made it to a thousand subscribers I did I was so happy that made me so happy and I'm going to be doing a giveaway uh, I'm gonna start getting some things together it's just a thank you for everybody um, who has subscribed to my channel and if you have not yet subscribed I would absolutely love for you to do so my name is Denise this is Denise's Halls I go to the Dollar Tree, I go to Walmart, I go to Aldi. Um, I still have my Timu haul that I need to do. And I love telling people about the bargains that I find. I love watching my friends on YouTube uh, that tell me about the bargains that they find also. So it's a lot of fun. I enjoy doing this. Um, no, no, it's just, it's one of my, I always say, this is my hobby. 
this is my hobby and I love it. I love to do this. So guys, again, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.